Hi guys, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today's video, I wanted to tell you a tell you about my Hollister interview experience and I'm trying to not look at the viewfinder right now. So what I'm going to do is turn this viewfinder over so I'm not looking at it. Just about my experience with my Hollister interview. So I wanted to share with you what happened and I'm going to take you through how I applied, how I did an interview and how it went and yeah. So the first thing I want to say is that when you are applying for Hollister basically you can just go into the store and ask if you can uh, if you can apply for a job and they will tell you you can use the computers which are on the sides of the cash register I think and they have this like pull out keyboard where you can type in your uh, application but um, I went there and okay let's just go into the story I went there and I was I went up to the cash register and there were three people there there was like two girls and there was a guy in the back and I I've seen this guy before and I think he was store manager so I go up to the girl who's like on the right side and she's like um and I ask her I'm like hi is it okay if I apply for uh, an application and if before anybody could speak there just were three people there the girl the two girls and the guy and the guy's like I'll help you and then I was like okay cool and then he directs me over to the um, to the computers which was what I was telling you about and he's like okay um, I'll show you how to do it and he starts to pull out the things and he's just like you know what I'll just give you the cold and I'm like okay um, I've heard about people giving uh, the code to them um, for doing the application. He's just like, I'll just give you the code so you can do it um, in the convenience of your own home. And I'm just like, okay, uh, that's fine. And he gave me the code with uh, on this little uh, receipt paper. And he put his name and he's like, I'll give you the store number too, um, just in case you have any trouble with the online application. I was like, okay, that's very nice of you. And then I left and then like a couple days later I think I did the online application. It was really easy. There's nothing hard about it. It's just your basic interview. I mean not your interview. It's just your basic application questions. You know, how do you, uh, where do you live, what are your past jobs, um, and they asked um, what schools do you go to, stuff like that. Just the basic information and like your security number and stuff like that and then after the um, after the after the application uh, at the end of the application they ask you what times do you want to come in for an interview and I chose the times usually the times are on Tuesdays and Fridays that I've heard but it was only on Fridays the ones that I was looking at on the computer so I chose like next Friday because I had to work on the upcoming Friday because I do have another job right now that I do want I do want to get another job because I'm not getting enough hours right now so I chose next Friday for 440 I think 440 p.m. and I was thinking in my head maybe I should just go for the latest one just in case um, just in case I want to be the last person in their head to remember me by so I was like yeah I'll just do that one and then next and then the next Friday comes and for the what I wore for the interview was basically um, I wore stuff that made me look like I was wearing Hollister but I wasn't really wearing Hollister clothes because I never really shopped at Hollister before but because they're so damn expensive but whatever Anyway, his, um, I wore like dark wash jeans, I made sure that I cuffed them, I wore like some sandals, a white tank, I think, it was kind of like, not a, not a strap one, but it was just like a plain white um, tunic, I guess, and I wore a cardigan over it and it was navy blue. 
so that's what I wore and I went in for my interview I went inside and it was already really busy because this is a Friday and usually they're really busy and they're really busy because they had a sale going on which is like the $25 jeans which they were really busy and I saw the guy up there and I went up and I was like hi uh, my name is Taisha and I'm here for an interview for 440 and he's like okay um, you can just wait uh, over here and I'll get to you in a second and uh, we'll start and I was like okay so I waited in this area where they had like a chair they had one chair and of course you already know that it's really dark in there and it's really loud with the music and everything and so I was waiting for about 20 minutes and then 20 minutes later I was still waiting for another 10 minutes and then after like a while I was just like what is going on why am I not getting my interview because and then he comes up to me he's like okay uh, I'm sorry about the wait um, we're just really busy right now I'll get you in a second I haven't forgot about you so I'm just like okay that's fine and then like another 20 minutes I would say or maybe 10 minutes I don't know but it just feels like a long time um, about now that he comes in and he's like okay so it's just you and I'm just like okay because um, I was thinking that it was going to be a group interview since um, since I've read that there are like only group interviews and stuff but um, he just um, pulled up um, some boxes towards me and I was still in my chair and he was just like okay I'm just gonna answer ask you I'm just gonna ask you a few questions and then I won't keep you long because you've already been waiting so long and I was like okay that's fine and he asked me I'm trying to remember the questions that he asked me I'm um, he definitely asked me what no first he gave me a clipboard and he said fill this out just put down your name and your number and I was like okay and I saw there's other two names up there that applied for model and I was like, oh crap, I applied for model two. And then I put that next to my name and I was like, oh, am I supposed to put that next to my name or not? And he was like, oh no, that's fine. Is that what you applied for? And then I was like, yeah, I applied for a model. <laughs> and, and basically he was telling me what models do and they're basically sales associates. They're on the sales floor and they're greeting the customers and they're making sure that the customers are happy and having a um, pleasant experience with the store so I was like okay that's easy enough and he's like yeah we just make sure that our customers are happy and um, make sure they are getting the best treatment possible and we make sure that our uh, associates are very friendly and outgoing I was just uh, basically agreeing with everything that he has to say and I was like yeah I know and then he asked me what school that I went did I go to what high school that I went to and if I'm going to school in the fall and I was like I don't I'm not really sure if I'm going or not and he was like okay so you're available for full time um, and I was like yeah um, I'll be available anytime and and he was like okay that's that's really great because we do have like a lot of people who don't always work and we need people to come in for them and I was like okay yeah I could definitely do that and I definitely want more hours and he was asking me about my past jobs experiences and how long have I been in customer service and I was like a total of about a year I used to work at a department store and yada 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 blah 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 so basically that's like all the questions that he asked me he didn't ask me any other questions I don't think like I studied some questions for Hollister and I'm sure they asked a question about diversity and I'm sure they asked a question about um, like what your friends would describe you as or something like that or what do you think the brand is and uh, how would you describe the brand and why do you want to work here he didn't ask me any of those questions like any of them and I was like I was like okay that's really weird that he didn't ask me why did I want to work here and stuff like that but he was just like okay at the end of everything he was like okay I I think I I'm, I think I'm gonna hire you and I was like I was just like okay I really didn't get what he was saying in my head I was just like okay maybe he's just saying this but he was just like okay um 
You look, um, you look good. Like, I think we should, um, like, I want to hire you, right? I want to hire you. And if I do have some other interviews coming up on Tuesday, so if those interviews are, so if those people don't, like, blow me out of the water and you're hired or whatever, and I'm just like, okay. So, at the end of the interview, he's just like, he's told me all that. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And he was like, it was, it was great to meet you. It was great to meet you. Have a great weekend. I was like, okay, you too. Yada yada. And so I left. And then, and I remember him saying that he would call me. But I don't remember when he said he would call me. And it's a Wednesday right now since I've taken, since I've been on my interview, which was on Friday. So I'm not sure if he's supposed to call me today or the next day. And I'm sure it's not today because it's 7 o'clock right now. So maybe he'll call me the next day. And, um, so yeah, he said he would call me and he said I got the job, but there was not really an interview process that was too complicated. So if you guys, um, ever get interviews like this, um, that are really easy, I think that's pretty cool that he did give me the job, but I haven't heard a call back yet. So if he doesn't call me, I'll call him just to make sure that I didn't get anything, anything wrong or... I misunderstood or anything like that so it's basically my story of my Hollister interview experience I hope you like this video or even cared I don't even know if you even if you guys even fucking cared about this interview but um, about this story but anyways if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want more stories like this or want me to tell any like things like this then make sure you tell me in the comments below if you do and I do have other stories that I think I could tell you guys and yeah make sure you are subscribed to me so you can see a new video from me every week and I'll see you in my next video bye